Today we've got a very special pro bike. This is Jason McCroy's Specialized S-Works FSR. But before that, who was Jason? Jason McCroy grew up in the northeast of England racing BMX. He started racing downhill at the age of 17 with instant success and he soon got help from sponsors. He earned his big break in California at the Mammoth Mountain Kamikaze dual eliminator race. With two guys racing at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour, he beat many of the top American pros and finished in second place. The following year, 1994, he picked up his first pro deal with the Mighty Specialized, a massive coup for a UK rider, arguably making him the first superstar mountain biker in the UK. His section in the cult mountain bike film Dirt became legendary for his style on the bike, manualing the bike in BMX style. Sadly, Jason passed away in the prime of his life in a motorcycle accident in 1995. So this is a really special bike. This is the last bike Jason actually raced on in 1995, the Mammoth Mountain Kamikaze. Back when downhill bikes really were just sort of converted mountain bikes. You can see it's actually got the bottle cage mounts on there that obviously you've never used a bottle cage on a downhill bike. It's a steel frame, that's why the tubes are so thin. It's actually got a 71 degree head angle, so really steep compared to anything you'll ride nowadays. Modern downhill bike, 63 possibly. Suspension wise, up front we've got a RockShox Judy DH. They were absolutely cutting edge at the time. I remember lusting over a set of these. 80 mm travel, and as you can see, this hasn't got disc brakes. So you've got this brace up front to mount your cantilever brakes. Um, also, it's quick release. Everything nowadays really is bolt through, so especially for downhill stuff. So looks pretty old fashioned now, but pretty cool still. On the rear, you've got this really early Fox rear shock. You know, it's, it's actually unbranded, but we know it's a Fox shock. It's a coil spring, oil dampen inside there. And with this special linkage, he's got about 76 mils of travel on the back. So really not a lot of travel, especially when you're drifting two feet up, 60 mile an hour down the kamikaze course. Up in the cockpit, you've got this set of a Zonic riser bars, with a massive rise. I had a set of these myself, obviously, because JMC had them. The thing about these bikes were, that, like I said, they're not really downhill bikes. They were just converted mountain bikes to race downhill on. And they were really low on the front end, so you'd have to put some big old riser bars on the front to get those bars up for riding downhill. Stem's got a lot of rise on it as well. The bars are actually 660 mil wide, so really narrow compared to bars of now nowadays. On the grips that are really retro. Shifting wise, we've got this grip shift X-ray shifter. That actually became SRAM a few years later, and that's working this Shimano XTR rear mech, eight speed, and that's an 1128 set matched to a 56 tooth chain ring. And that is just for the mammoth kamikaze where they were doing speeds of up to 65 miles an hour. So need that massive chain ring for that. It's got Shimano XTR cranks that are 175 mil long and these Shimano DX pedals. Again, this was sort of before you really had downhill specific components. So these DX pedals would be used on cross country bikes, downhill bikes, whatever really. It's got an AC chain device to hold that chain onto that massive chain ring. And it's a square taper bottom bracket. Remember those horrible old days of snapping those bottom brackets? The brakes are avid. They're really nice levers, even by today's standard. I think they look amazing. They've got tie bolts, super trick. Uh, interesting to note that actually JMC runs these US style, so front brake is on the left-hand side. Back in those days, it's quite common to actually run one finger on the front brake and two on the back, because canties, just, they didn't work very well at all. You find that if you did get a set that worked well, you pull them so hard that actually the brake bosses would sort of flex on the frame anyway. So this is just pre-V brakes, really. You've got avid canties down here. Like I say, it's a rim brake, and this is a ceramic Mavic rim, so they weren't renowned for being particularly good, uh, especially in the wet. To the wheels, the hub widths are 135 rear and 100 mil up front. And these are DT Hugi Swiss made hubs, later became known as DT Swiss. Mounted to those, we've got these Mavic 121 SUP ceramic rims. Something I noticed on this rear wheel is these spokes are actually soldered together. And that is because Jason had real problems at the kamikaze with snapping uh, rear wheels. So they're just soldered to just give that rear wheel as much strength as possible. The tires are specialized own brand and they are team control with armadillo technology, whatever that is. 
The 26 inch, obviously this is 20 years before that wheel size nonsense kicked off. And they're 2.0 wide. The headset is a one and one eighth inch Diacomp A headset. And if memory serves me correctly, I, I would think this is probably one of the very first bikes with a headset. Before that, it would have been the old style quill stems, but the a headset is much stronger, you know, much better performing headset really. Weighs in at 31 and a half pounds. It's actually heavier than I expected it to be. So it's a really nice bike. It's something, especially for me, it's a really cool thing to have a good look at. I was 14, just been riding a couple of years when Jason passed away, so he was a big hero of mine and his bike still looks really cool today. The things that really stand out for me are this one-off linkage to give him more travel on the rear. Uh, you see the soldered rear wheel for extra strength and all around, really good looking bike. And if you want to see more videos from GMBN, you can click up here for our Pro Bikes playlist or you can click down there for our top 10 most important bikes of all time. Some more retro bikes in there. Or click on me and JMC's bike to subscribe to the channel.